welcome to our new video in this episode we will be seeing how we can consume ajax ajax request whether it can be your services or the api okay so with jquery ajax we can consume all the api perform all the normal operation like get post put and delete okay so let's check the example this is the same example that is inline editing example i am following i will be just integrating json placeholder fake apis this is the site which provides fake api responses like all the operation we use they have provided that so we are going to use same in our application okay so first thing like on page load we need to call this api let's say for user we have api as okay so this is my api which gives me array of users data okay so on load i have to call that api and show that uh, records in my table okay so for that I already the code will write one function so function will always go outside the document dot ready let me minimize everything these are the existing function for inline editing okay so see load grid data is my function name dollar ajax if you can see the documentation there are a number of parameters we can have saying before send is my function call back catch complete content content type context okay data cross domain data filter data type the number of parameters but basic what we need is like type type is mean what type of the api is it gate post or pull it okay since this is a gate api so we just need a gate and we need to pass this url is the actual url which you are you want to consume then content type the content data if you need content type you can pass it otherwise don't process data if you need you want to process it or not you can do that data why we don't have any parameter here so data is empty before send so let's say when you load the page when request goes from your page to the server and until it comes back until it come back you have to show some like uh, loader uh png image or something okay when the response came it will hit success callback this is the success callback let me add debugger over here and over here also okay so let's check like let's create a we have this table right inside this table let's create a tr and let's have a td which is having call span number of tr one two three four five six so six is what we need then inside that let's take a div class row or just we don't need row and column here just a text center class will be enough text center and we can have a loading text here okay let's add a id to this tr tr loader okay so let's see now we will just hide and show show and once we get the response we just have to hide this tr okay then we need to create dynamic html also like we are going to get array of data so we need to prepare tr and append that to my table right so for that let's create a tr we are going to need for each loop result will be my object okay inside that we need to create where let's use constant tr is equal to double quotes let's use the same instead of th we are going to convert it to td okay so here we need to double quotes here also double quotes semicolon whenever you write a whenever you create a dynamic html so this is the better way 
instead of const let's go for dynamic let is equal to plus double quotes okay now at the end we need double quotes and semicolon And this same thing we need it here. Let's rename this to TD. Okay, just one thing to remember like we have to use single code only like when we have added class so we don't it won't allow double quotes okay so we have to use single quotes only now instead of this name we have to use double quotes then plus plus this will be used to concatenate things then element element dot let's see what are the things we have name name is the property Let's copy paste this. Name. Then we have username and email. Let's call the username. Email. Then phone and website. Phone. And last one is website. Okay, so inside action, what we need to use, we need to provide save and cancel button. So for that, I have already one variable pro buttons where I have added two buttons. So I can use the same over here. Okay, so let's and we need to call this function on the page load. So on the page load, we need to call this function. Let's check and test. Network call we can check since we are making an API call. So you see when the page load and request is yet to start. So we have got in the before send function. Okay, you see loading what we have got. Okay, so once we have the response, you see 200 is there. Okay, so you can see in the result we have got the 10 records. Now we are using the for loop. On that okay one thing we missed like we have created the tr but we haven't appended it to the table okay so we just have to use this after tr is being ready we just need to open dynamic tr here that's it let's reload one more time before send once we have the response Okay, so you can see complete TR with the data is there. Okay, so you can see we just have to get rid of this. Okay, so this is nothing but get API consumption. Let's get rid of this also. Just write this code which, which will remove the empty row. Okay, so this is our first gate API consumption. Okay, after that, we have to use post. So in previous video we have already seen on on click of add new we are just adding one empty row to the table so let's just add it to the top of the table so instead of append we have to use prepend so that will add the record at the first index okay so 
on click of save we need to call our post api of this the url will be same just our request type will be post and in data we will send the data okay so let's see button save okay this is my api call instead of this we have to call this logic jacarya jax call only we don't need this code now okay so here data we need let's let me undo the code because we are going to need the data from the table okay so this we are going to need okay Let's create an object constant user object is equal to curly bracket. So let's use the same things which we need. We are going to send only that. ID when we won't be going to send the address also we are not going to use and company also we are not going to use so only five properties we will be sending so we just have to empty these values because from text box we will be selecting those values let's see the text box txt name is there txt username username txt email if you have not seen how we are doing this just watch the previous video you will get the idea like how we are picking the value from that table text box txt phone last one is website okay so now we can use this variable over here in object username email phone and website okay so now our object is complete now we just have to stringify it before sending so here instead of data with string json dot stringify opening closing and our object name and now type will be post let's try to check this now let's add a debugger over here so let's test it now on click of add we have empty editable grid here let's add a name e pc username at and the rate from it's add an image same copy paste the same over here let's add the phone number website let's check the network panel now okay so on click of save we have created the object let me show you that object now you can see we have got the text box value into our object because of this okay so same we are going to make so when i click you can say it will go to the before sender first okay and in the response we have got id as 11 means it has been successful so if you see in the network panel this is the input what we have sent to the api and in response we have got 11 and if you see the status is 201 201 is the uh, status what we normally use what we normally use like record has been created okay so post api call is also done same as it is we have to make up, update and the delete also 
so we can use the same thing for update just changes will be here instead of post put will be there let's see that okay i think existing logic is breaking now let's use the delete now the last one the difference will be same put will be just request a change we have to create the object and send it okay now let's check the delete button danger yes this is the function call we don't need this instead of delete will be there let's check the delete documentation like what they need okay, see for delete we just need to pass the id okay let's say just let's hard code it for some time delete this is the id and user slash one so one id we are trying to delete so i'll click of delete network see this is the api request method was delays it is come as 200 means it is success okay so this is how we can do all the four operations with jquery ajax okay users have users have to users need some apis or the services to hit and then you can perform all the basic four operations that's it thank you